ridiculed everyone on the roster. And I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. The double champ does what the f he wants. Video games have always been something in my life from the day I was born. Whether it was the Genesis, or just the Nintendo, or the Super Nintendo, PlayStation, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, PlayStation P, uh, Pro, or the PS5, or the Xbox consoles. Gaming has always been in my life 24-7. From missing school because GTA 5 released from missing school because of the new wrestling game or whatever. Video games have always been in my life forever. But it's always been video games with iconic characters that have always stick with me forever. And this video is gonna cover five of those characters that have mean a lot to me. Now, I'm not going to dig deep into the into the stories or anything like that. I'm just going to reveal five characters that truly mean or that are special in gaming history, in my opinion. Number five is Garrett Arrivia. If you don't know, The Witcher 3. I never played The Witcher 1, Witcher 2. I've never played those games. The Witcher 3 was the first time I've ever played some type of fantasy world. Now, if I'm being very honest, I most likely did play some other ones, but I just truly don't remember. Like, I most likely I did play, uh, what what's that game? Like those Demon Souls games, but maybe I just don't remember anymore. Garrett of Rivia was one of those games that uh, The Witcher 3 was one of those games that I just truly remember playing it and I fell in love with it. Um, I don't know the voice actor that did the voice for Garrett of Rivia, but just the way he talked. And I, I remember hearing some people saying, well, it's a different voice actor and, the, and all of that. I understand. But this, this was my... I guess you could say this was my Garrett of Rivia. And everything about this game worked for me. And the way this character was told in the video game worked for me. It was just a phenomenal arc. And in my opinion, Garrett of Rivia from The Witcher 3 will forever go down as one of the best uh, characters in video game history. But another character that belongs in that conversation is the one and only John Marston. John Marston from the Red Dead Redemption 2. If you guys have never played the Red Dead Redemption 2 or Red Dead Redemption 1, John Marston was, I would say, the first cowboy in my life a character in my life that was a cowboy that I fell in love with the story in the background and the way this character act I never grew up watching any cowboy films I think my dad was really into like the John Wayne films and uh, the Clint Eastwood films but for some reason they never connected with me playing Red Dead Redemption 1 and playing as John Marston, I fell in love with the Western. I fell in love with the, the cowboy lifestyle. So much that I watched all the John Wayne films. I watched all the Clint Eastwood films, those, uh, uh, what was it, the good, bad, something like that types of names. Uh, whenever he's this cowboy, which has a lot of similarities to uh, John Marston, if, uh, if I'm being very honest with you. But Red Dead Redemption 1 and John Marston 
will forever be in gaming history because not only was it an incredible story, incredible gameplay, and uh, incredible world building, but that ending. Woo! <laughs> that ending had me, man. Um, I felt every shot that John Marston got hit. I felt anger when I saw John Marston died. And I felt every enjoyment when I got to play as the son and got my revenge. John Marston, Red Dead Redemption, will forever be in the gaming history of one of the most popular characters, iconic characters, and iconic video game. Right next to Garrett of Rivia. In The Witcher 3. Now, those are two iconic characters. Number three is another iconic character, in my opinion. That is Nathan Drake. If you don't know who Nathan Drake is, he is basically a a treasure hunter, a Tomb Raider type of character, but this is a male character. The early developments of Nathan Drake was more of a goofy side uh, Johnny Knoxville. So much so that if you do look up and do your own research, you can see that Nathan Drake looked very much just like Johnny Knoxville from Jackass. Nathan Drake slowly developed into a different character, but still had that Johnny Knoxville funny-ish type of comedian act. When I played Uncharted 1, then Uncharted 2, and Uncharted 3, and then the last one, Uncharted, people call it 4, but it's actually Uncharted These In. Nathan Drake, the the progression, the story arc of this character, the gameplay was phenomenal. Everything about this character worked for me. So much so that even at moments when you knew you were like, hey man, this is this could go a different route, the character always knew to always keep it lighthearted. And there's actors out there that know how to do this, even voice actors. And Nolan North, I believe that's his name. Nolan North, the voice actor for Nathan Drake, was phenomenal in the way he he uh, landed uh, iconic remarks in video games, especially as Nathan Drake. Nathan Drake, to me, will forever be, if not, one of the greatest Sony PlayStation iconic characters they ever created. Naughty Dogs, I would say probably Naughty Dogs number one iconic character. Uh, Nathan Drake, in my opinion, will go down as one of the greatest characters ever created in video game history. And Uncharted will forever go down as one of the greatest franchise ever. And potentially Sony's greatest franchise ever. But right next to Nathan Drake is another iconic character in the Sony PlayStation franchise or exclusives or whatever you want to call it. And that character is Kratos. I believe Kratos was first introduced in 2001, 2003, somewhere around there with God of War 1, and then we got God of War 2, God of War 3, and then we had some other ones. Kratos have always been a character that, I'll be very honest with you, I never played the original Kratos game until I played God of War 2018 and I fell in love with this character I fell in love with it so much the performance from Christopher Judge the story 
that Santa Monica told us and then just every little world building that we got and specifically just the way they treated the Norse mythology because Marvel Studios took that Norse mythology and made it into a joke. Santa Monica decided not to do something like that. Instead, they gave us something mature, but incredible. After playing God of War 2018, I fell in love with the Kratos character. So much so that I did research. I, I went out and I looked for more games. And I stumbled onto God of War 1, 2, and 3. And God of War 3, even though God of War 2018 was... In my opinion, a masterpiece of a game, God of War 3 solidified me as a, as Kratos, as being not pro potentially in my top five of greatest characters ever made. In gaming or even in movies. But 2018 and then 2020, I believe it's 2022 when God of War Ragnarok came out. Christopher Judge just took Kratos into a different route and made him more of the character that I saw in Kratos. I fell in love with Kratos over and over and over. No homo. <coughs> Excuse me for that. But yes, the voice acting was phenomenal. The God of War franchise has been phenomenal. And to me, 100% Kratos will go down. If not Sony's number one character, iconic character, he would potentially be number two or number three behind Nathan Drake or whoever else. Kratos will forever be in the gaming history as one of the most iconic characters ever made and God of War franchise will forever be in gaming history as one of the most iconic franchise ever created by Santa Monica. My number one most iconic character, let's take a moment. is Arthur Morgan. Let me say it again. <clears throat> Arthur Morgan. <clears throat> Let me say it one more time. My most iconic character in gaming history my most iconic game, the game that I consider the greatest game ever made, with the greatest character ever made, Arthur Morgan from Red Dead Redemption 2. If you've never played any of the Red Dead Redemptions 2, I would say play Red Dead Redemption 2 because of the character Arthur Morgan. <clears throat> my throat. I'm slowly losing my throat for some reason. So I'm going to try to end this video very soon. Arthur Morgan is. To me is one of the best characters ever made from the way that he is portrayed at the beginning to the way you can control him at the end. Arthur Morgan is the greatest character ever in gaming history. <coughs> Let me know what you guys think down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. I just leveled up, I thank God. Straight from the mud, now it's time to get the pie.